tradition and good politics. It made me very happy. In what way? Except for Richard and your brother. And your vote at the Globe yesterday did more to cement relations than you can imagine. Well, it's purely business, Mother. It's got nothing to do with brotherly love. Are you going to the party in Falcon Crest this evening? If you promise to have dinner with me this week in San Francisco, alone. That's a possibility. I know. Well, I always wondered what Falcon Crest looked like inside. Well, actually, we live in the basement. All this stuff is for the tourists. <laughs> You're pulling my leg. <laughs> I'd love to pull your leg. What you may have done or may not have done with Daryl is not my concern. Well, I'll tell you one thing that is your concern, Angela. Chase and I are going to stay right here. Nothing you can do will change that, ever. Didn't you see enough the first time, Melissa? I think I've seen quite enough. I think you better go to my mother, Jacqueline Perot. You bitch! Hello, Dr. Toscani. No, I wouldn't have guessed you, Fallon. All those interrupted phone calls, uh, those nights away from home, but I never would have guessed with whom. Could you please try to act like a lady, as impossible as that may seem? This party is to honor my son, not to embarrass him publicly. You are what you are, my brother's biggest mistake. You could try and change that by trying to be a decent human being. Try to live up to what being a Carrington really means. Oh. <laughs> you find that funny? Yes, I find that very funny. I mean you, high and mightying me. I may only be a Carrington by marriage, but you're not even one by birth. What are you talking about? See, like Stephen told me, Blake Carrington isn't your real daddy. Which makes you what we used to call back home. A bastard. <laughs> Hello, Abby. Oh, Peter, hi. I got here as soon as I could. Thank you for coming. Seems both my escorts let me down this evening, my daughter and my husband. Well, I'm here if you need me. I'll let you know. Let me take you around. I don't know why they have to have a benefit for wildlife. There's enough animals in this room, we could start our own zoo. You're so unkind. So cute, such a good dancer, but so unkind. I knew about Val's babies all along, Gary. I knew about the kidnapping. Why am I not surprised? I was out there trying to help. It would have been irresponsible to, to raise her hopes without some kind of proof. We all know that Val's emotional state right then was delicate. I didn't want to risk hurting her any more than she'd already been hurt. Sounds a little like Mother Teresa, huh? It must be very difficult uh, running an oil business at your age. Well, I'm getting expert advice. Now, why is it I think my older brother is always up to something? Because he always is. Don't let JR spoil tonight. Come on. You want a drink? No. I want to dance. Okay. Real happy to hear you're working with Mary Lee Stone. Are you? Try not to write any checks on her money. I wouldn't want you to ruin her company like you did your mama's. I'll always know that 
My sons had the finest father. And I was married to the finest man that God ever put on this earth. Well, I knew I should have called my own Katuria, but I figured it was only for one night. Oh, Dan. As it said on your invitations, the only condition for being here is that you get happy, because that's what La Mirage is all about. Hey. Just remember the name of the game is pleasure, so 23 skidoo and grab it. <laughs> Neil, you scum. You double-crossing scum. You'll be hearing from me, Congressman. Enjoy the title while you can. You stay out of my life, do you hear? You keep out of my business, or so help me you wish you had. If you're not married to Blake Carrington, you're married to me. Our divorce papers were never filed in Mexico. You gotta believe me, this is important to both of us. We were never divorced. You're lying. If you think I'm lying, check. I still don't feel like I fit in around here. Join the club. I married into this damn family, and I, and I felt like an outsider until the day I left. You don't care for Angela very much, do you? Look around. These people are not here because they love her. They're here because they're terrified of her. You could have said you were out of town or that you were taken down with the flu or candid enough to say that your appearance is in terrible taste. Nice to see you too, Angela. Is the champagne free? Actually, she's pouring chases. She won't admit it, but she was in there scraping off the label. <gasps> what? That's for the pain. And anguish you've caused my wife. This is shocking. Really? If you weren't Emma's date, I'd kiss it and make it well. Sandra, what are you doing here? Well, I didn't have the five thousand dollars in ready cash for an invitation, so I gate crashed. You seem to make a habit of that, dear. Gate crashing into people's homes, people's private lives. Do you mind telling me exactly what that's supposed to mean? Doesn't mean a thing. It seemed to make you a bit nervous. Did I hit a nerve? No, of course not. Good. By the way, you didn't tell anybody that Ben's in Denver, did you? Or that I brought him to the party? You know me better than that, Alexis. I gave you my word. Of course. And there are some things in life that even you hold sacred, aren't there? Too low. Nobody top dogs my big brother, right? Time's passed, Blake. Twenty odd years. And times have changed. I want you to go through that door and walk out of this house and don't ever set foot in it again. Hello, Patricia. Suella. Hello, everyone. You look wonderful. Thank you, Clayton. So nice to see you both. You look beautiful. What a surprise. Come and join us. You know, I was behind this from the start. I'm going to enjoy being your boss. Sell your interest in you and all? That's what I've been thinking. To whom? That'd be an offer. You're just as bad as JR. Hey. Well, you don't have to worry about Sue She doesn't live in South Fork anymore. As a matter of fact, I may not be there much longer myself. I cannot. I will not sell Christopher's share of Ewing Oil.
to Westar. Well, I suppose you better enjoy him while you can. What's that supposed to mean? I asked you something. Well, here's your answer. Good God, Alexis. <laughs> Do your lies never stop? <laughs> Are you calling me a liar? Oh, I find that very amusing. Well, I suggest that you check it out with Garrett Boyston yourself because he gives a new meaning to the word liar. Alexis? Yes? I didn't thank you for your present. <gasps> you're not too upset my taking Jeff away from you. Upset? Well, I love the boy. And what an opportunity you've given him. It's a chance of a lifetime for him. Not to mention the challenge. Oh, it'll be a challenge, all right, when he starts dealing with Jason Colby. <laughs> <laughs> My maiden name is Barnes. In fact, if you look up on the dais, Mrs. Wentworth, that's my brother, Cliff Barnes. I see. We lost the deal. Unified soft drink got it. trying to be so civilized, isn't it? I don't think you're in any position to talk about being civilized, the way you latched onto Bobby in such a hurry. Do you think this is any affair of yours? Well, it didn't take you very long to find him, did it? He found me, but then I knew him first, didn't I? Uh, ladies, I don't think this is the proper place for an argument. Why don't we go back to our table? Afton, why don't you just stay out of this? This is between Pam and Jenna. And you? I don't know why we're arguing. You're not married to Bobby anymore, Pam. You gave him up. You're right. We really don't have anything to argue about. Well, then, let's all go back to our tables. I'm happy with my day, Pam. I certainly hope you're happy with yours. I'm sorry, Pam. She's a real witch. Hey, Lawrence. Your philanthropy is truly awe-inspiring. Jerry, let's go. I think you gave that scholarship the wrong place. Did I really? Yeah, the proper recipient of the Digger Barnes Scholarship Award isn't a university. It's a neighborhood bar. My daddy might have done some drinking, but he sure as hell never stole from his friends. Is that right? <laughs> 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 